HHP passing has been real in terms of just raising media's awareness about depression and how it is so taboo in some cultures. In this video I'm going to be sharing my own thoughts on depression. I understand that my culture, in my culture it is more commonly accepted but I understand that this is YouTube and these videos go to well people that are really independent of culture whoever's got Wi-Fi videos whoever shares it on whatsapp whatever so that is what I'm going to be sharing I hope you get inspired educated and informed by this video those are my three tag words now Please. What? what's up fellow Zam Jammers and a warm welcome to everybody who is not subscribed and notified to this channel now let me just start off by saying like drop a like yeah or a dislike actually the engagement doesn't make a difference but drop a like I don't say that enough in my videos I think I said it for the first time in a long time in my last video just if you if you are a regular viewer of my content then drop a like just uh, or wait until the end you can do it then but I understand we're ADD and we tune out of things really quickly in this video I'm going to be talking about depression just because of the whole thing that depression is quite taboo talking about it goes against that and I believe it helps I'm going to be showing my experience yes having had depression how I got through it and what I believe what I believe depression is and how to how to work through it so are we ready are we ready well this is personal experience so depression I believe that there are many aspects of depression I mean we can talk about it it is physical like you feel physically tired and drained and it affects your physical output it is emotional your emotions are up and down it is mental it is in your head and your chemical imbalances talking about that it is chemical because of these uh, hormones serotonin dopamine which are released too much or too little or out of order or too little just in general and even spiritual so guys I'm going to be talking about these things and how I believe to using that knowledge of of what it is to to really just kick depression's ass because it sucks okay let's go I'm going to I'm going to talk right into right into the top one over there um, spiritual because I do believe it is so spiritual and if you can if you can get that in tune like the other ones just fall into into place or, or emotional if you can talk into emotional other things fall into place so let me just explain that quickly before you get all freaked out like Sheldon are you gonna preach at us like what is the spiritual stuff you're talking about okay well let's just talk about a breakup so if you go through a breakup and you went through well a few years together with this person and then you break up and it meant a lot to you you would be able to see your emotions would be in a mess your your like your physical your body might show it might exhibit signs like hair loss and uh, you get fat loss as well um, or gained fat gained weight there are many there are many I'd, I'd say side effects or attributes that manifest in the physical as a result of basically your spirit is broken when you get broken up with like that your spirit is crushed and that's what I mean I'm talking about like your spirit and basically how to get through depression from my perspective so yeah let's go into it social media guys I want to I can't just talk about depression without mentioning social media I mean depression is something that's real and it's been real way longer than social media but social media seems to be quite linked with depression these days um, and and phew, fame as well how you can get famous so quickly um, and how you can have it all but not have anything and I believe coming from my perspective as a youtuber someone who's quite present on social media and someone who's gone through depression I believe I should share for all of those people who are wherever they are that there is hope and it starts with you it starts with you so maybe you're watching this video right now maybe you know someone who should be watching this video right now but I'm going to start right by where I've been at times in my life where I can't get out of bed maybe I want to check my Instagram feed like my first alarm went off and at six o'clock 
So if I see enough likes on my feed, I'll get the dopamine release I need to get out of bed. Even text messages from people like a friend, uh, someone that you're vibing with, anyone, good morning messages, they naturally release dopamine. They cause, they cause, they lift your spirits basically. Now, there are lots of ways to do that, but I'm talking about this because I believe that's where I was at and a lot of people are at and I'm not saying I am completely perfect and don't fall into that at all. Um, exactly, I'm, I'm admitting to that, but I believe that there is a way, there is a way to, to move through life without this, this, this pest, which is depression uh, and get through it because it happens. For me, it's seasonal almost like once a year when winter comes, like summer's coming now and I'm quite stoked as you might be able to tell by my tone of voice. But yeah, just in general, I'm, I'm more excited in summer. So yeah, let's talk about it. Social media and there's that. Then there's, I mean, not being able to sleep at night because you keep on checking your phone, going through all the apps. When you're waiting in a line at the shops, you get awkward and you want to check your phone, you want to check, you just want to feel a bit better. Maybe you get insecure about something when someone says something, but you do things to make yourself feel better. Maybe you caption something in a certain way, maybe you post something in a certain way. Rebellion and spitefulness are real guys. We can't just pretend like they don't exist. I have fallen prone to those many times I don't I mean well like I actively try to not let that kind of stuff go on my social media just in terms of I mean personal capacities just because I Understand that I influence a lot of people and I can't bear the conscience of, of Letting my rebellion show to a whole bunch of other people um so that's me being honest, although I don't believe I'm way too much of a rebel. I just believe in some ways, like when people tell me I can't do something, I'm like, now I really want to do it, <laughs> you know, um, and, and other things. So social media and depression and that lifestyle is real. Now let's start talking about the, the way forwards, right? The way forwards, which is for me, if you can start off your day, it really just starts with the start of your day. Oh, actually, it starts wherever you are right now. My brain just thinks chronologically, so I'd like to start with the start of the day. But for you, wherever you are right now, I don't know what time of day it is that you're watching this, but if you are that person, well, it starts with you. Maybe it's daytime. Maybe just going outside and getting some fresh air. Maybe it's going to talk someone, talk to someone. But listen here, maybe it's giving your mom a call or that person who's close to you, who understands you, a call. Because... I understand that there are those people in your life for a reason and it really helps me from my perspective. Guys, it helps. Now, I understand that some people aren't in, in the place or aren't privileged to have a mother like that. If there is someone like that um, in your life, then reach out to them. But yes, go outside, get some sunshine, um, make some music or write some poetry if you need to express yourself because for me that's a big way I get through things it's just processing how I actually feel and not running away from my thoughts you know you know well that's for me that's for me how I how I normally fall into that trap of just wanting to numb my thoughts and social media or music or whatever that's me and I feel like showing that but the way to get out of it is is just spending time with your thoughts processing it and then you realize what you want you know there is most definitely if you want to not limit yourself at all i would encourage you to invest yourself in communities where they believe in you and they bring out the best in you i would encourage you to do that because humans are social beings and it is it is good for you mentally when you when you speak about where you're at with people and hear the input and many people's input not just one person's input because what many perspectives make your vision clearer isn't that a nice way to end this vlog i think that is so i'm going to end the vlog right there thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that this got through to you again drop a like if you if you felt that this helped you in any way because this is so relevant guys i see it it is exam times and tests and uh, finding out like if you're gonna make it if you're not gonna make it and work at that time of year it might be really slow at work or busy at work if you're at school and writing exams guys there are many reasons that people go into depression right now so I feel like it's a good time to share this video please do share it like it and do the things this is the Zam Jammer tuning out thank you so much